Okay, hi. One of my uh, followers um, asked me this question about how to know if you're with a good hairstylist or not. So this is what she said. What are some signs you would give a client to look for that they are not a good hairstylist when going to a salon? Well, this is near and dear to me because I'm a hairstylist. I've been doing hair for a long time and I have seen a lot of things that we hairstylists do that is not professional for the hair business, okay? So one of the things we do is we're not on time, okay? Time is really important in this field. If you are not a timely person, if you're a person who's always late or just flat, just does not show up for your appointments, you're not gonna have a client. If you, as a client, is arriving at the hair salon before your stylist, that may be a sign that things are not, you know, to the point that they should be. Another thing is maybe if they take a long time doing your hair. If they take a long time doing your hair, maybe that might be um, a problem as well in the long run, okay? If they're not as skilled, that might be a problem as well. When I say they're not as skilled, meaning they're not able to do different looks for you, they're not able to do um, things in a, in a healthy way, that might be another um, point that you may want to talk. Now, with that being said, does that mean that you roll out? No, it does not. If you've been with your stylist for a long time, communicate with them. Communication is key. I've lost a lot of clients because they didn't communicate with me. Because one thing about hairstylists, we're all on different levels. We, we all mess up. And the only way we learn is by realizing, oh my gosh, why it doesn't Miss Susie come back to me? Or they realize that they're not making as much money as they used to be. When you are beginning hairstylists, that's when they usually make the most mistakes. So I say this to clients. If you want somebody that is more skilled and, and, and it's not going to make those mistakes that I talked about, maybe you should go to somebody who's been in the field over five years, okay? Usually, by the time they're in the field for over five years, they're not going to make a lot of mistakes like that, okay? they're not Because those are basic mistakes. Those are mistakes that if you make them enough, you're never going to build your clientele. Like myself, it took me a good five years to become professional in this field. So, it depends on you as the client and how much you want to spend. Because I'm going to tell you the straight up really the more season we are the more we gonna charge okay i'm all about that money honey so i'm gonna tell you I'm, I'm on time in fact i'm more than on time you gonna pay me up front okay you are going to make a booking with me online and you're gonna pay 35 dollars okay and that's gonna say that me and you have made a contract together saying that i'm gonna be there and you gonna be there that's how i had to do this because see i don't want to be known as a bad hairstyle it's about business okay it's about business on both ends, okay? So I'm going to tell you right now, I don't get paid cheap either. I'm very, very, you know, investing. I'm an invested kind of hairstyle. I mean, you come to me, you invested in yourself, okay? So I'm going to tell you that the more you want us to be more seasoned, just make sure you're coming off those ducats and then we good.